Bruh. Like, I'm not even kidding when this is how the interaction went with the post office lady this morning. How you going, Ando? Here's your package for today on Mailman Monday. By the way, did you see the Aerodactyl down the end of the road yesterday? I managed to catch it. Ah, uh, no, I didn't catch the Aerodactyl down the road. You're doing better than me at Pokemon Go. What? So yeah, it's always fun to know that the post office lady, who's about 50 years old, is doing much better than me in Pokemon Go. Anyway, the very first package on today's episode is actually like this massive box right here. It's probably like, I don't know, it's much like two times as big as my head. But on the front here it says, it contains what I think says, cereal. Now I'm not sure how long you guys have been like following the channel for, but I've got a weird obsession with cereal. Alright, first up. We've got, is that a note? It's literally like a pure orange sort of uh, envelope right here. Let's uh, bust this one open. On the note here it says, What's going on, Ando? My name is Kerisha, I'm pretty sure. Hopefully you enjoy all the different stuff I sent you. I included a couple of surprise things. Hopefully enjoy the poster I made all by myself. Anyway, stay awesome, Ando. All the way for yours truly, K-Girl. And keep on gaming. What's the surprise thing? Ah! Guys, what the heck is that? But French Toast Crunch? What the heck is for? Oh, I love French Toast. And the fact it's... Look at this. It's like actual bread pieces in the cereal bowl. America, you've done it again. This blows my mind. Oh man, my brain hurts already. What the heck? This actually smells like a... It smells like golden syrup like that you put in your French Toast. This is crazy. It actually smells like the actual uh, French Toast. I'm not even kidding. I am so excited right now. Without further ado, let's do our very first ever French Toast Crunch trial run here. Oh my god. That's so good! Oh my, that is fantastic! Well guys, it's official. I know what heaven tastes like and looks like. It's in the form of a pink box that says French Toast in the front. But without further ado, let's have a look at what you sent in the blue pack of yards. Still smells like gold syrup. So after tasting probably one of the greatest cereals I've ever tasted in my entire life, I had to open these packs of cards. And I don't know what it was, but all I could see was pure love hearts. But maybe that's because this is actually the uh, Radiant Collection, otherwise known as Pokemon Generations. And it's the coolest set of all time, and he's actually included a whole bunch of highlight cards, including the Full Art Sylveon EX. Okay guys, so the next box we got here is a regular small box, and it looks completely normal and harmless, but then listen to this. What's in the box? In the box? What's in the box today? Okay, so pretty much in the, in the box here is like a big blue bag. It's the hashtag triple B. Let's find out. So inside this... Uh, uh, I think we've got a whole bunch of crazy bones. Like this actually looks like the entire set. No, I actually did anyone else collect crazy bones when they were a kid. These are the- oh my gosh. It's actually like every single one including the rare ones. Thanks for the crazy bones. Definitely something I didn't think I'd get this episode. Oh my gosh. I suppose like I've had great tasting that cereal. But then right here is Doritos Dynamite. Chili El Chilo. Oh my gosh. Oh my, that looks like it's bleeding. Guys, look, look at the color. That's not a no, that is dark red. That's not, that's not even like red. That's like a sh my fingers are covered in whatever that is. I so don't want to, okay, I'm gonna do it. I can smell the spice ready, but I'm gonna have to bolt to the bathroom in a second because I can't, I can't do spicy. <sighs> and now I've torn around though. Let's just go for, Oh, oh. <laughs> oh guys, I can't even feel the back of my throat. Six and a half hours later. I thought it'd be worse. It was bad, like I'd still have a numb throat, but... Ah, oh. I suppose I could... <sighs> should I try and eat the rest of it? I should, I should. You know what? So the comment section doesn't pay me out. I'm gonna eat the rest of the Dorito. The inside is like a lighter orange, so it's not pure dark red, but let's just... I did it. I did it. I feel like I need to throw up. Oh, I'm not even sure if there was a note there, but you know who you are if you sent it. You lovely human. 
Let's have a look at all the Pokemon cards that he sent, and I'm just gonna have a big glass of water, I think. I don't even, I can't think straight right now. Let's open the pack of cards, let's do that. Now, I don't know how many of you guys are gonna notice, but a couple of these cards are actually fake cards, and the reason you can pick this up is that they're a lot darker than usual cards, and they've kind of got that photocopy glare to the side, and the one that gives it away the most is this golden Porygon Z, which is pretty cool, it's gold. So as you guys probably saw in the Pokemon Go video, I actually had a meet and greet like two days ago, and it was the craziest thing of all time. Like, we literally shut the convention down because we had a queue going all through the middle of it, it was absolutely insane. And as usual, I appreciate everyone giving me all the different gifts that everyone gave me, all the different drawings. But then there was one kid that came up to me and he goes, Ando, you have to put this in the hashtag Triple M. And he gave me this box, and it's got like dogs in the front, and it's a pretty big box. I'm like, alright, let's put in the hashtag Triple M. So let's, oh my gosh, this is, okay, this is a drawing. So I think these are actually uh, two different drawings I got from different people at the convention. But this one here is actually the new Pikachu, which I actually haven't seen before. And it looks so cool. So believe it or not, that's a Pokemon in Togon Sun and Moon. Then we've also got a uh, Minecraft lanyard. I'll take it, fair enough. Ultimate swag, here we come. And then I'm pretty sure we get a whole... Oh my gosh, I thought we could go... Uh, you know, we're so close. We're literally about to end the episode. It's happened, guys. He's returned. You know what, Pikachu? Poof! Oh god, no! Oh, not the light! You know what, guys? To make sure we're not all angry and all frustrated to finish off the episode, I think we need to kick off one of our favourite segments ever. Hashtag Triple M. <laughs> rapid Fire. Let's do it. So, kicking off this Hashtag Triple M Rapid Fire, we've got none other than a tractor racing shirt from Tristan. Then Clayton thought of the best gift of all time, the greatest Xbox 360 game to ever hit the shelves, Angry Birds on 360. Includes connect and if you're thinking to yourself and oh that video game train must end soon Don't worry cuz Mason actually sent a copy of Pokemon Y, but then I was like let's open it up make sure it's not a troll It's kind of a troll. It's not Pokemon Y, but it's Pokemon Rumble Blast I believe it or not I've got a confession, but I've never actually played Rumble Blast So I'll definitely give it a go let you guys know what I think on Twitter, but I'm super excited Thanks to Rumble Blast man and the Pokemon Y case Yay! And as usual, people made me feel absolutely terrible about my art skills because Kate has gone and sent the greatest Sylveon picture I've seen in absolutely ages. I'm 21 and still can't draw anything like this, like a stick figure still turns out unrecognisable. But thank you so much for the Sylveon, I'll definitely find a spot at the wall of the bag. Then holy flipping banana peels guys, hold on to your seats, but flipping, what, I, I forget her name, this is just, it literally blows my mind every time I see it, but I think her name's like M, and she's actually sent Eight flipping sealed boosters of like Pokemon Generations, Breakthrough, uh, a couple of different sets, Fates Collide, and a full art Giovanni. I'll definitely store these for a uh, opening very soon, but thank you so much. Oh my gosh, it means the world. And then guys, to finish off this hashtag triple and rapid fire, we've got the greatest amount of cards you've ever seen. I'm talking like ultra rare base set, all the way to EXs. So we've got Mason, and I think her name's Lucy, has actually sent in all these cards. Let's take a look. Honestly, I've got no idea what to say at this point. I mean, I can commentate, but honestly, I'm just going to be dead on the floor while I look at these absolutely incredible cards. So the ones we just saw, those basic kind of ones, they were actually in another language. You can definitely leave a comment in the comment section below if you know what language that was. I'm pretty sure it was like German maybe, but uh, it's still nevertheless really cool. I haven't got any of those types of language basic cards, so that's absolutely incredible. And then we've also got what seems to be every single EX of all time. Some of my absolute favourites, hands down, and it doesn't even stop there. He's like, I know you love EXs, so here's an old school EX series Raikou. I flippin' died. And yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps up today's episode of Hashtag Triple M, otherwise known as Mal Monday. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy, and if you're thinking to yourself, Ando, there wasn't enough Pikachu's in that episode, I need to send something. You can send it to the PO box in the description below, but make sure to take a picture of it before you send it, because unfortunately, I can't send it back. But most of all, guys, what are you gonna do? Have a fantastic week, enjoy the rest of the day, because it's only Monday, but most of all, we're gonna keep on gaming and keep on playing Pokemon Go. It's so addicting, it's not even funny.